Hi, my name is Bob Grinia and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, today I am going to try and make the ND filter and shield for the front of the endoscope that is going to look into the supernova reactor, hopefully, whilst it is running. And uh, this is the schematic I have come up with. Uh, this is our camera endoscope. Uh, this is the ND filter segment, which I need to produce, and this is a washer. And these two components would form uh, this uh, here in cross-section, and the ND filter in this uh, cross-hatching. Uh, and this hatched area is the body of the reactor. And the idea is that the washer would conduct away some heat uh, to the reactor, and it would also uh, prevent, uh, hopefully, uh, microwaves from exposing the electronics in the uh, cameras, uh, electronics, and the ND filter would reduce the light being transported through to the uh, actual camera itself. So that's the uh, schematic that we're going to apply to this. And uh, here are some uh, standard kind of washers at 8mm, and they are already the right size, and you can see how much that's going to reduce the hole. Uh, maybe I can fashion one which is actually better than that because if we put one of these on the uh, camera here uh, you can see that uh, it's actually bigger than it needs to be for the um, uh, the actual size of the the lens opening uh, there so uh, we can maybe do better than that standard washer uh, and then here is the ND filter uh, and uh, this will need to be cut um, and I have this uh, tile uh, drill here, which has a 10 millimeter outside and something like a seven to eight millimeter inside. That might do the job. Uh, that's probably going to be very messy. Um, and I have the drill uh, and uh, grinder here to maybe help me with that. So uh, that's the kind of plan uh, we have. And uh, these are the tools available at the moment and let's see how we do. So I have the tile drill here in the uh, Black & Decker drill and I am hoping that I will be able to make a segment of the uh, ND2000 filter here. And so this is going to be pretty scary uh, trying to drill into this. Oh dear. Um, do we have anything of any use? Well, that was an epic fail, and uh, we will try and cut some pieces out of this and see if we can progress like that. So I have this GoPro clamp, and it's got rubber that runs on the inside of it, uh, which goes into the flat area here. What I've got is a segment of the ND2000 filter in there, I'm going to try and grind off and round off the corners so that it can go into the washers uh, which I am going to put in front of the lens. So we're going to see if this works. Uh, this is this little device here which we can see if this uh, works. That seems to be grinding that off quite nicely.
Now that this appears to have worked, what I might do is take a larger section and make one from that so that it's more round. Okay, so I have a much larger segment of the ND filter here, and I'm hoping I can make something that is uh, a better match for the size of this washer. that's a much better match. So I just need to remove some of the elongation from here and round off that corner and I think we'll be there pretty much. go so that is our whip <laughs> that is our washer which is eight mil and it's our little filter to go on the top okay so the camera endoscope end that actually has a little lip around here and a ridge and the little filter that I made slots into that quite nicely and so it's uh, fairly stable and it's the actual height of this bit is about the thickness of the the filter lens glass and so I can put that in there and then in theory I can put the little washer on top and that is our little assembly and this will be pushed into the hole in the supernova reactor. And that is it really. So thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.